so make sure you hit like and subscribe these are the three previous videos to do with the same sort of subject government controlled opposition revealed government censorship network revealed government grassroots movement they all go through how the government have set up networks of actors spies people trying to represent uh, the people in opposition to the government and we've also seen their hate and division tactics I've said a number of times that people like Kate Shimarani, Mark Steele, London Real, Stand Up X, Mark Dolan and a number of others in March and April pulled the rug from under us. They took away our power to create a genuine grassroots movement to oppose and even break down their system. Then they sent in the trolls, the conspiracy theorists, the positive negative instigators, the actors, people that want to fight all the time and so many other mind bending tactics to keep us from ever getting to that point. We then have the new BBC chairman donating 400,000 to the conservatives, stirring up calls of no impartiality and a complete rotten system in all areas of the media and the government after new policies and laws are created a protest is called upon by one of the groups such as keep britain free save our rights extinction rebellion or stand up x or anything to do with opposing the government which is then controlled by the government it also has to be approved by the City of London and the Metropolitan Police and local councils as to how the protests are going to work. The government already controlled the narrative on how the protests are going to work. They allow places such as Speaker's Corner for lots of events to happen and this is where they can control and siphon data. The mainstream media has a massive censorship narrative created because they will get a team of film crews filming stage events and the actors creating and managing these reactions which then is shown in the mainstream media. We also have on the alternative media the same thing, actors creating and managing reactions to keep people in echo chambers and away from creating a bigger grassroots movement. We also have instigators, hate and division, groups of people in live streams trying to instigate then we have the online and social media where we have a lot of trolls time wasters propaganda slander hackers and data collectors trying to destroy the flow and yeah there's no problem with having a laugh and having a bit of a troll with your mates online but we've been doing that for nearly a year now and not much has changed in the way of trying to oppose and stop the government so there are many tactics used one being the Motten Bailey where a person will say something controversial to stir up hate and division then usually retreat into the security and anonymity of their surroundings where they can't be attacked then they will usually use pseudoscience and then deny or refuse to engage in anything that's conventional science, religion, politics and claim all those that do engage are brainwashed or can't think for themselves but they've just made a scientific claim for instance and then they have no way of backing it up. They will voice their opinions from afar without backing up their claims with basic evidence and something that we can all scrutinise or even an alternative. They will usually have no ideas no actions to take or counter offers that help a community other than sitting around talking and denying something that they haven't backed up with evidence and will refuse to read or look at any evidence when presented to them which contradicts their beliefs there's a lot of time wasters out there who will dominate the live streams taking over people with stories of their fantastic lives and things they've done or a convincing scientific pseudo story ignoring all questions coming towards them rebuttals or anything of use which in my opinion wastes lots of time hackers and data collections well that's google and that's people at the marches using machines such as imsy catchers which will siphon and basically just take out everyone's data from all of the phones within a small area say a quarter of a mile 